July 1806, we set sail for the sweet cove of corn. We were sailing away with a cargo of bricks for the Grand City Hall in New York. It was a wonderful craft, she was rigged for an aft. And oh, how the wild winds drove her. She had several blasts, we had 27 masts, and we called her the Irish Rover. We had one million bags of the best like a Rex. We had two million barrels of boats carnage. We had three million sides of all blind horses' hides. We had four million barrels of bones. We had five million hogs, six million ducks, seven million barrels of porter. We had eight million bales of old nanny goat's tails in the hold of the Irish. Over. It was all Mickey Coop who played hard on his flute when the ladies lined up for his set. He was too dim with skill for his sparkling quadrille, and the dancers would flutter and bet. With his shark, when he talk, he was cock on the walk, and he rolled the dames under and over. They all knew at a glance when he took up his stance. And he sailed on the Irish over. There was Barney McGee from the banks of the Lee. There was Hogan from County Tyrone. There was Jimmy McGurk, who was scared stiff of work, and a man from Westmeath, God alone. There was Slugger O'Toole, who was drunk as a rule, and fighting Bill Tracy from Dover. And your man, Mick McGann, from the banks of the band, was the skipper on the Irish Rover. We had sailed several years when the measles broke out, and the ship lost its way in our fog. And a wheel of a crew was reduced down to two Just myself and the captain's old dog <laughs> And the ship struck a rock Boy, what a shock The bulk hit it turned right over Turned nine times around And the poor old dog was drowned I'm the last of the Irish Rover. Yee-hoo! Thank you very much to the best audience I think we've had forever. Thank you for being very drunk and nearly having your time as well. Gentlemen bow, ladies curtsy. Thank you, guys. Yay. We can't follow that. Thank you very much. Oh, man, we'd love to, but we can't. That, that was more.